All right, spring is here, and so are warmer temperatures. And what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be moving the stock tank that had all the baby and hatchling turtles from the inside the garage where I had them over winter, and I'm moving them outside. And to do that, I'm gonna take it apart and rebuild it, and I'm gonna show you step by step uh, how I set up a stock tank for baby turtles. So stick around. All right, so I've moved my stock tank from inside to outside, um, which was a whole ordeal. I will not show you. There was a lot of uh, frustration there. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm pumping out all the water that was in there, and I'm gonna rinse out the gravel and the sand and the sides of it, kind of get it cleaned up a little bit before I start filling it. But it's gonna sit here with all my other stock tanks and tubs that I use for growing out plants, uh, snails, and everything else. And these guys should do really well here. Let's see the next thing. While this is pumping out the water, I'm gonna spray and kind of rinse it so it's pumping out the dirt as I go. Work my way from one end all the way down towards the pump. rinsed out my gravel and got it down to a low level, I'm gonna put in my basking area. And what I have is I actually have this little under gravel or underwater box filter and it's hooked up, it's got a pump in there and I use it mainly for recirculation. And it also provides a nice little support for me to put their basking area on. So I'm gonna just make sure it's nice and solid like that. And it'll rest on that. And then when the water level comes up, that'll be underwater and it'll recirculate and help filter the water. In addition to, I have another one that's actually outside of the tank uh, down here, which is a canister filter. Okay. All right, so since I don't wanna take a bunch of hose water and fill an entire tank with that, I want my water to be more natural, a little bit softer pH, and uh, just a little bit, um, less of that chlorine stuff. I mean, that stuff's terrible. So what I'm gonna do is actually go in this stock tank right here. I've got this planted stock tank and I'm gonna get some water from it. And as you can see, there's a bunch of snails and plants and everything in there. And that's just gonna make this tank so much better uh, just by adding this bucket of uh, water. And I'll probably do two or three buckets like this uh, just to even out the amount of water kind of coming out of the hose. All right, so now that this tub has reached the desired water level, I'm gonna go around to my other tubs and start collecting some aquatic plants and start, I'm gonna start planting this out so that they have uh, plenty of plants to hide in just like they would have in the wild. Uh, wild baby turtles are always found in clumps of vegetation and leaves and uh, just all kinds of things where they can kind of hide out. Uh, there's little micro habitats in there for them to hide in and things for them to eat. So we're gonna recreate that in here. All right, so while this may not be the prettiest stock tank to look at or the absolutely most natural, this is a functional habitat for them just to raise them up till they're big enough to go in one of the natural ponds that I have. So this is about raising them up and getting them to a safe four or five inches, and then they can go into a bigger habitat. But so right now I've added uh, some Amazon frog bit and another plant I believe is called parrot's feather. I'm not 100%, any of you plant guys check me on that. And uh, now it's ready to start adding these turtles. And so we're gonna start adding the turtles and let them kind of uh, swim and acclimate to uh, basically the same habitat they were in. But now that they're outside, it may freak them out a little bit. So uh, we'll, we'll put them in and see how it goes. All right, so right now we're gonna start adding some turtles to this tub and uh, get them in there. So let's, uh, let's start grabbing some turtles. Uh, this one right here is a favorite Florida softshell turtle. So we're gonna put this guy in first. Thank you. 
take off into there. Some slider and a couple maps. Put these guys in. There you go. Upside down. Add those guys. These are three loggerhead musks I had hatched out uh, last year. And we're gonna put these guys in as well. Just straight into the plant so they feel safe. A Florida red belly here and a northern red belly here. They both have really pretty bellies. Um, these will probably be the guys that eat most of my plants. So they should be really stoked. We'll put them right here. All right, last is all five of my eastern painted turtles. So let's put these guys in. Here you go, fellas. Enjoy. All right, so now that the turtles are in the tub, the next thing to add is a top. This uh, screen top to cover it and keep out any predators. It'll just sit like that. All right, and so while these turtles are living in this pond, uh, they're gonna be living on a diet of, um, I'm gonna feed them some dried shrimp. They're gonna get little tiny insects and little crustaceans and things that live inside those plants. And I'm also gonna feed them uh, these like little pellets made by Zoomed. Uh, these are a pretty good little pellet for getting uh, hatchling turtles started. They have everything they need and they're really teeny tiny because those little baby, those little baby painted turtles are so small. So these pellets come in handy. Um, and so uh, that is an important thing is to make sure that your hatchling turtles get a nice rounded diet um, and the natural sunlight will also give them vitamin D to help make sure they have nice hard shells. Uh, you do want to provide a nice dry basking area. The basking area being dry is extremely important because that's going to keep them from getting shell rot. All right, so this is how I set up a baby turtle stock tank. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Please tell me down in the comments how you set up your baby turtles. I would love to hear about it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.